Hi friends and neighbors, Max County Railroad here with you again. Today we're in Pasco, Washington, one of the three Tri-Cities in Southeast Washington. And they got an Amtrak station here. I ain't never seen one before. We ain't got one in Tennessee that I know of. Gotta go down to Atlanta to catch a train. That's a shame. All the railroad tracks we got in Tennessee, but Anyway, I thought I'd stop by here and see about getting a little bit of this station on video and Got a big old rail yard right over there. I'm gonna try to run up and down it. See if I can't get y'all some video of this rail yard It's raining and we're right next to an airport, so I can't fly my drone. That's a shame This really would have been a good drone slot shot Did I go? Anyway We'll see if we can go in there and see what it's like. Stay tuned. All right, we're inside now. Got an Amtrak and a Greyhound. What about that? It's a pretty nice little place. Nobody here, it doesn't look like. Well, maybe there is. <laughs> How about that? Oh, there's train information. Maybe we'll see a train today. Three, six, thirty-nine, and nine. Bus, bus, bus. Well, it ain't a train; it's a bus. Son of a gun. Well, we'll see what else we can find around here. It's two o'clock. Almost. No trains. How about that? Out there's the platform. We can't get out there. I know they're enjoying this rain. It's been dry, dry, dry. This whole place, state's burning up out here. Right over there's the rail yard and it gets bigger as we go north. So we're gonna go out that way in a little while and see what we can find. But I've never seen an Amtrak station before. so why I thought I'd stop in here and see. Oh, a big old clock up there. How about that? It says five to three, and that says five to two. I don't know which one to believe. Nice little place in here. All kind of memorabilia. Well, we'll go out and see what else we can find. All right, friends and neighbors, stay tuned. We'll find what else we can get into out here. Just riding along the railroad here, trying to get to a good spot. Some of this traffic get by here.
five or six rails across through there. So you can just imagine how many trains there are sitting there. And these trains out here is oh, two miles long sometimes, and so they gotta have a real long yard to put them trains together in. the wipers folks you can see there's more trains over there lots of trains at least I got the bugs washed off my windshield for the most part these people around here drive too fast they're in a big hurry to get nowhere oh there's some auto racks over BS BNSF cars with a buffer car you probably know it the trains required to have a buffer car between it the locomotive and the hazardous material cars there's some engines one two three engines hooked onto a train be nice if he's going somewhere all right so you can kind of see we're going along the rail yard here we'll pick it up a little bit since there ain't no trains hope y'all can hear it's okay well, there's some trains up yonder on the hill. Guess we're gonna curve away from it now. I'm gonna have to turn around. Maybe I can get on the other side of the yard, so stand by. Okay, friends and neighbors, we've come about five miles up the road and this yard's just now ending. I noticed a lot of places along the road there have to do with potatoes. I always thought they come from Idaho, but actually, Washington grows a lot of potatoes. It's used in the frozen french fries. I didn't know that. So Idaho, you've got bacon potatoes, and Washington's where your french fries come from, friends and neighbors. All right, I'm gonna get down the road a little bit and get out of this rain. We'll see what else we can find. Okay, friends and neighbors. Man, this is a busy street. This is the south end of the Pasco Yard. We can see on locomotives up there, that's their maintenance facility for locomotives. <clears throat> I got several of them lined up there. This is one big mama chama of a railroad yard, I'm telling you what. This is the south end. Be nice for train to come by, but many sitting there, there ain't none of them moving. Anyway, that goes south. The other way goes north. It's an interesting looking signal there. I don't know what that's for. Looks like they got a derailleur or something on the track. Anyway, I'm parked in a bad spot. I gotta get moving, so stay tuned. All right, friends and neighbors, we're on the south end of the rail yard on the east side. I can hear them reefer cars running over there. They must have something in them. We're gonna see how far we can go up through here. I may get blocked again. I've been in and out like a little white rat in the maze. I'll try not to shake too much. We'll just try to travel on here. I'll a little better view there. Bumpy road, washboard. <laughs> Man, it's a bumpy road, washboard. Na, 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 na.
there's so much produce comes out of here that I didn't know of. Washington's a big asparagus grower. They grow potatoes, they grow a lot of apples. Man, there's gonna be apples everywhere in about two or three weeks. I'll get up to Othello, they got some cold storage places up there where they deal with apples. Hey, I see something moving over there. Turn around, we might get us a train. Stand by. Okay, friends and neighbors, we looked out. I don't know if they're just switching in the yard or if they're fixing to take off, but we'll find out. We'll wait here on them and see. Kind of neat seeing this switching. Let me move a little ahead a little bit so you can see what we got out there. It's still in the yard, that's why it's going slow. Oh, he's backing off on the motor. Maybe he's just switching them around, but that's okay too, friends and neighbors. We don't get to see much switching on this channel. Jaw tooth pretty well got that covered. I'm glad to show you some. It's kind of a treat. If I didn't have this camera sticking out of the window so much, I'd have my tripod hooked up. It'd be a little bit uh, steadier. This kind of neat, seeing these cars go slow. You can read what to say. try to pick up again. It's been wanting to rain all day off and on. Don't mind a little water, it's a wind that makes the audio go bad. Well, I hear brakes. He must just be swapping them around. Pretty sad sound of brakes. But it gets the job done. You'd think it wouldn't take that long to throw a switch. Stand by. Well. He must get be paid by the hour, he ain't moving. Well, I'll pan around here a little bit and let you see. That's what this rail yard looks like. South end. Of course, there comes a plane. We're right next to an airport, so I can't fly my drone. I was wanting to do that maybe next week when I get up north of Spokane. And you can see how far them things just go and go and go go for about four miles on the other side of that bridge. So they can put together some long trains down here. Pasco, Washington. It was 102 the day before yesterday. Now it's 70 and rainy. Of course, they need to rain off bad. Okay, since he ain't moving, I'm going to go see what else I can get into. Stand by. Stay tuned. Okay, I've come about a mile up the track. I hear some air brakes going off over there. This looks like a, either a loading place, but I bet it's a service place for these refrigerator cars because there's a whole line of them down through there. You can see them, our friends and neighbors. Then there's some lined up going into that building there, and I'm sure that's probably a maintenance place. Oh, can you hear them brakes hissing? Got some locomotives over there. A 
Lots of cars just sitting there. You'd think you'd want to get them things delivered. But you can just see how many rail cars are just sitting here. And this is just on the south end of the track, of the yard there. At least we're getting some train action today a little bit, getting some rain action. Comes a railroad man, probably gonna scold me, but I'm across the road from his yard. Can't do nothing to me. And there it goes. All right, friends and neighbors. Just thought this might be interesting to look at, but there ain't no train action here right now, so we're gonna go on up Railroad Avenue here and see what we can find. Stay tuned. All right, friends and neighbors. Here's some movement over there in the yard. I just want to show you all this sign. We'll move around over here. So this is where they repair the cars, I guess. Man, they got some, a lot of locomotives over there. One of them's got, two of them's got flashing lights. Oh, and there's one moving over yonder. Doing some switching. Focus camera. I gotta get a better camera. Friends and neighbors, I'm sorry about that. There, it's finally coming into focus. Took long enough. Wonder if that's the one we saw earlier putting the train together. It's backing up. Gonna hook up some more cars, I guess. Time we'll get down to the end of the yard and back, maybe he'll have it put together. So stay tuned, we're traveling on. Well, we got one coming down the line. Throw a track, maybe? Yeah, I can throw a track. No, he's walking right by that switch. He's checking out the track, I guess. Oh, there's another switch up there. He's throwing a switch. You think he'd let the train come up to him? There you go. Work smarter, not harder. me or not, but it looks like the front end of that train sitting down lower than the back end. When I get up north to Spokane, we'll see about getting some big trains going through there. Maybe some CPs. Northern Pacific. All right, there's some traffic coming on. I'm gonna move. We're going up track, see what we can find. Okay, we'll see if we just can't cruise along here real slow. See all the different cars. Railroad. 
Road Jefferson and there's Burlington Northern before there's BNSF. That car is just A-OK. -okay. I don't know what that means. I can hear him over there, just can't see him. Well, we got a big curve in the track right there. That'd be a good place to get a video. Oh, there's some more cars. They're doing a hump. I know what they're doing. That's a hump yard. They're classifying the cars. Oh man, and that Novara's moving on. I probably missed him. I don't know if we can catch him or not. This is pretty interesting right here, watching these humps. I thought they got rid of most of these hump yards. There's a guy up there in that tower. That directs each one of them cars to the right train. And uh, they've got a retarder over there to slow them down if they get going too fast so they don't bump against the cars too hard. It's really an interesting thing and it's sad that Norfolk Southern, CSX, and everybody's got rid of their hump yards. It's the first time I've seen this, friends and neighbors. And I, maybe it is for you too. I think it's really interesting. Train over yonder, you can't see it, but he's got a CSX engine on the back of it. Maybe he's taking it back east. Man, he's really putting them cars through there. Through there. That's what that is. That's uh, them wheels going through that retarder, it's squeaking. All right, now here comes a different. Train, different car. Oh, and there comes another. That looks like a refrigerated car coming next. Man, this is great. I never thought I'd get to see this. This has made my day. I hope it makes y'all happy too. Okay, I'm gonna pull off the road a little bit better and get my tripod out. We'll watch this for a while. Okay, we're on the tripod now. Maybe it won't be so shaky. We'll watch them classify these cars, man. I think it's really interesting. We've got a reefer going out yonder to one train and a center beam car going to another one. I always wonder where these trains go and where they come from. Looks like there's one getting ready to leave over there. Well, figured as soon as I get my tripod out, they'd quit humping. Oh, here comes one, auto rack. Several auto racks. Gonna step off the road a little bit more. I hear him bumping down there. Oh, here 
here comes the tank car. Coming through the retarder, slowing that thing down. If you can see it, but to go fast till I get that the retarder, and then that slows them down. Oh, got a pan over here. If you look, you can see they're kind of going up a hill over there. That's the hump. They're going over the hump. They come down one at a time. I don't know if they still do it, but these old train yards had a guy down in a pit under the cars inspecting them as they went by because it's going so slow and he could look at them. So that's where they're coming from. And that's where they're going to. There's one right there. You gotta be quick on your fingers with this switches up there with all these different tracks. And all these different cars going all these different places. It takes a lot of practice. I swear I'm getting the urge to go chase that train. I believe I can get ahead of him. We can come back here and watch humping another time. Maybe it's prettier weather. I'm going to go see if I can catch that train. That's what I call just in time, friends and neighbors. I've seen them headlights and just had to find a place to pull over. This is going to be a nice one. Picking up a little speed. We'll go see what all he's got on the train now. Come on, camera. Give me a break. I believe we saw them being at BNSF auto racks a little earlier. Alrighty then. In the mud a little bit. That's all right. Spanning the country to bring you all these videos. Pasco, Washington, north end of the rail yard. Glad we got to see that hump yard. I never seen one of them before. They're about obsolete. Oh, that thing sure gets quiet once them locomotives get past. Well, that's a pretty good view. I'll just take my hands off of it and we'll just let it sit right there. Real train action here, folks. There goes the flat wheel. Bump, 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 bump. Outside of a potato storage place, kind of smells bad. I don't believe I could work there for a living, but I'm glad somebody does. I sure like my taters. Man, there's a lot of drywall or 
particle board going on these trains. That's a load. One, two, three different sections that I've counted so far, and there comes some more. Man, alive. Picking up speed now. You got three in the front. I don't know how many locomotives he's got in the back. Oh, maybe we'll find out. This train wasn't as long as I thought it was. It's still a pretty good train. He's headed north. Maybe to Spokane. There comes the DPU on YouTube right on the end there. So we've got three in the front and one in the back. See if I can follow this thing without kicking the tripod. Oh, he's working too. I can hear that thing running. <laughs> 